Well, howdy tubers. Well, back at it again. I didn't get, I didn't work too much more last, yesterday. Uh, anyways, just, just didn't. So, back at it again today for a little bit. I got a friend that's going to uh, retire today. And so, going to go to that retirement dinner tonight. But, instead of, and on the way there, I'm going to go ahead and stop and go see my dad for a while and then leave from there to go to it. But we'll show you what I did. Got all those nut plates in there. And, um, you know, I, I couldn't, I told you I was going to have to take out the couple instruments so I could get to the, so I could get in there to dimple the skin. Well, I had forgot about my other little dimpling tool. I had to do some more uh, modifying on it, but here it is. Uh, well, that's, yeah, shoot. Okay. Well, this is the one for dimpling eighth inch holes, which is, of course, what I did on the on the H5 because I dimpled all that. I'll well, talk about that a little bit later. But here's the one that I'm modified greatly for the 332nd or or 40 rivets, pull rivets or solid rivets, which you know that's what I used with solid rivets. So of course you know I ground I ground on it and then and then used the miracle wheel to smooth it up so that when you're doing it it's not um, marring the surface any more than it already does by dimpling the skin so anyway so got that and oh what I was I did already make a video and then I I deleted it because I forgot a couple things and what I was saying about in it was about you know I'd said in that video I talked about the H5 that I did did them in all the rivets most all the rivets in in countersunk and that I just did it because I thought well I'd make it go faster but I don't think anything over two or three hundred mile an hour airplane is going to do any good but I think it looks better and I feel it stronger and my reasoning and I think I've heard other people say that they feel it stronger too my reasoning is is that well 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 like in this case on the on the skin here you dimple the skin and you and then you dimple dimple the rib and so you've got a dimple going into a dimple so even before you get a a rivet in there it's more or less kind of sort of holding itself uh, if you consider if you just had a piece on top of there and and two pieces together with just a hole in there there's nothing keeping it from sliding away well the dimple's going to keep it from sliding away so i just figure that holds better but now on the age five of course i dimpled this nose skin and i dimpled the trailing edge skin and then i countersunk the spar cap so we had a dimple going into a dimple going, and then both of those dimples going into the countersunk spar cap. So it looks neat. It really, I really like the looks of it, but I don't know that it was worth worth the effort other than the looks. But uh, the other thing is, 47 years ago today, I woke up in the United States Air Force. The first day, you know, we got there March 31st and just my, as soon as we got there, we more or less just went to sleep because we got there at night. And then the next morning, April Fool's Day, that never got mentioned. Nobody said anything about it. So anyways, that's 47 years ago. And I was thinking, I was thinking there was something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, you remember how I told you that on the, after you 
after you dimple the skin for the nut plates, we'll drill out that, that hole before you put the nut plate on there. To, well, I use 11, 11 64th drill bit. Well, also do that to your to the skin, the tank cover skin, so that so that there's a little wiggle room to get the the screw in there. So anyway, that's it for right now. Hope everybody has a good April Fool's Day. And please like and subscribe and hit the like button and all that good stuff. There you go, and may God bless.